For the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. So Libra, in the recent past we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Now the Queen of Pentacles is showing that you will, you were probably spending a lot of time at home, uh, spending money on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. Now, this would have been a good thing, provided you didn't take on too much debt. People were probably also looking up to you for insight and or advice at that time. You would have been able to help them if you decided to do so. This was a time period when you got a whole lot accomplished. Now, this Queen of Pentacles, when it talks about love and relationships, it's a very feminine card. It points to strategy particularly for those who were currently involved. If you were currently involved with someone at that time, um, it probably went really well. But if you were a single Libra in the recent past and you were not involved with anyone, it would have been about strategy. And to find love would have been the stereotypical feminine one meaning don't chase it but make yourself available and not be too desperate to bring someone into your romantic life because when the time is right that's going to be made abundantly clear to you and you will not have to do backflips to make something come about so it would have been important for you to remember to stay upbeat positive and just know that you have many things that you're worth loving or you have many things to offer many things in which you are worth loving so that explains the Queen of Pentacles and it's paired with the Ace of Wands the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings very positive ones they come in the, the realm of accomplishments and they could be related to work, career, but it could go either way. And if you were having a difficult time in the recent past, just know that things were likely to be getting much better very soon. Because this card is about upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about the future with a really good cause. You were likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you would have been feeling that way soon. Or maybe coming up. Also, this Ace of Wands, it, it's showing that now is a good time to start something new. Now, if you're single and you get the Ace of Wands, um, this can indicate the beginning of a new, a new love, a new romance that's coming in. So, make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. And if you're committed, this current is showing that relationship is about to undergo a new beginning, a new powerful start. And it could rise to new levels of understanding each other. So basically for the recent past, this Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Wands, you just want your life to be more comfortable. That's what you wanted in the recent past. You're probably sticking close to home a lot. And you could have been a housewife or a caregiver but it's about being something about being um, close to home maybe you're just redecorating could have been something like that um, you you were very comfortable at home and you wanted you wanted comfort you could have also been the down-to-earth type of person very caring sensible that's what you get with the Queen of Pentacles but with this Ace of Wands, um, there could have been a new beginning, some type of new, be be new beginning, and it was very positive in the recent past. And um, this new beginning, um, it bought so many positive things that it just made you more comfortable. So you were okay with probably just being at home. And... Um, not having a lot of things going on because um, 
You felt like life was a new beginning. Or it started to feel that way. So you took comfort in just being at peace with yourself and maybe like I said maybe you were into decorating or doing something that made you feel more comfortable so that's a recent past now let's take a look at the current time we have the eight of wands and it's paired with judgment now the eight of wands uh, you could find in April that you have a lot of things up in the air or a lot of things may feel like it's just up in the air. And you'll probably feel tired of waiting. Because this card, it's indicating that you have to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do. Now the decisions, they have to be made by other people. When this card appears, the Eight of Wands, it's pretty with all those wands up, going up, going upwards and into the sky, the beautiful blue sky. But... When this card appears, it's showing that you've done all that you can do. Like I said, now decisions must be made by other people. And just nothing seems to be moving ahead. So it's about being patient a while longer. So don't try to force things, Libras. And I say that because if you try to do, if you try to force things, it's probably will backfire on you. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So you put your best out there, now you just have to wait. The wands are going up at an angle, but they are not coming down anytime soon. They're going up really fast, but if you take a look at it, it's, they're not coming down soon. So you, it's about playing the waiting game in the month of April for something. Now, judgment is with this Eight of Wands. It's about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are too hastily made. If you know you're prone to doing this, it's a clear signal to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. So, just keep in mind, if you're in a relationship, it can be a make or break period because of this. So, for your present time, Eight of Wands and Judgment. Some important information is moving fast. It's moving real fast. And um, it's going to cause you to jump to a lot of conclusions. You're waiting on something, and it's just not happening, like I said, fast enough. But, um, like I said, don't force things, because it could backfire on you. And you might feel like forcing things, um, because you're starting to jump to conclusions. Whatever this is that you, you could be waiting for, you can't push it. If you push it, it could make or break whatever it is you're trying to do. It's at a make or break period for you because you could um, sabotage it. So you just have to wait and don't jump to conclusions. It's coming, whatever it is you're waiting for, but don't force it. So that's what we have for your present time. Something you're working on, a project maybe, something that you, some news you're waiting on. It's going to cause you to jump to a lot of conclusions and you might feel like sabotaging it, but don't do that. Just wait. And you know what that is when April gets here. So your challenge is the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Magician is a card that signifies new beginnings, more new beginnings. You had that in the recent past. New beginnings and great expectations with this Magician. This card, it reminds, that, reminds us that we have a power 
to make a difference in a lot of ways. This is actual transformation. So, just know you will not have it all handed to you on a plate in April, but you, you're going to have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just make sure you're doing something. Because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now this magician is paired with the Eight of Pentacles, which points to necessary efforts. You probably feel like you got a lot on your plate in April. Things that you must accomplish. Dedication to the task is important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it's going to be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to do. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. This Eight of Pentacles, it's about a very hard work period. If you can see the picture, there's a man, he's working and he looks like he was working and it's about to turn nighttime. So he's still working. And it's raining. It's pouring down. I don't know if you can see the rain, but he's not stopping. So it's about a heavy work period coming up for you. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you have to prepare for it. So basically, you challenge the magician and um, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you got a heavy work period, like I said. You got to be mastering something or trying to master something. Um, you could be enjoying your work. You're going to have a lot of passion, motivation, and you'll be inspired. Which is a good thing because um, coming up in April, you're going to have the power of manifestation. So, yeah, this is good because, like I said, if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. But with the Eight of Pentacles in there, you'll be doing something, that's for sure. Like I said, this man, he's not, he's working nonstop and it's pouring down raining on him so you'll be using your manifestation powers and that's what you have which is a good thing coming up for you and uh, so get ready and be prepared a lot it seems like a lot of work is coming in so it's good because you make a lot of money a lot of money so once again, that's a challenge. Now let's take a look at the outcome. We have the Sun card and the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Sun card is great. Things will be going really well for you, Libras. Your finances, they'll be in excellent shape with the Sun card. Keep in mind, though, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what you're um, well, you, sh you shouldn't lose focus on what you're, what's truly important in life. That's what I'm trying to say. And money is probably, for some of you, believers, not high on the list. Some of you it is. Just uh, keep in mind, it's also a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for new work, this card could signify it's right around the corner. It's coming in. Um... If you're in a relationship, um, with the Sun card, it's showing that you may need to give space with the Sun card if you're in a relationship. But um, you will definitely add bright, happy days and sunshine to your person's life. Or life is going to feel that way to you. Now, it's paired with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is about boredom in some ways. You may be tempted to say things or do things that shake people up just for excitement. So, you may want to rethink that impulse, find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created, that's for sure. But this Page of Pentacles... It's a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. So, 
Um, you might want to use this energy wisely. The Page of Pentacles gives you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So keep that in mind. <sighs> because you might be feeling mischievous in April. Trying to stir things up. Because it looks like uh, you've been working hard. You're making good money in April. And you might um, just want to stir things up. And, and it's showing that you might be a little maybe bored with, with, with what you're doing. Maybe it's uh, routine. But uh, find a better use of your energy because you got the sun card. Um, it's going to make you, like I said, make you feel really bright, happy, and your life is going to feel, like, very sunny. So, you'll be feeling really good, and like I said, your finances are in great shape. They'll be picking up, and uh, just be careful how you use all this energy that you're getting from the sun, from the sun card, because like I said, it looks like you're going to feel like being being a little devil yeah or you're just going to be feeling so good that you feel like you could um, maybe pick on people in a playful way but they may take it the wrong way so that's what we have for you Libras for Aries not bad who could um, uh, we all could use the money coming coming like that really good for for you Libras who wouldn't want that? But there's something that you'll be waiting on. So that could be another reason why you're, you're bored. You're still waiting on whatever this is up in the sky to come down. So it's making you anxious and just a little bit crazy. So you're happy, though. That sun card is, is yeah, it's going to add, it adds a lot of sunshine to your life. So, so good for you, Libras. Leave us. Leave us.